Well, howdy, happy campers. JT here, and it's another fine, happy Valentine's Day in 2024 in Southwest Oklahoma. Well, I'm kind of surprised it's now 2024 and no one even made a video yet of the plug-in service plug. So, here it is. I'm going to show you where it is real easy. Some might call it the hybrid disconnect plug. Some might call it the service plug. Some might even call it a kill switch. Whatever you want to refer to, it disconnects the hybrid uh, system from the battery so that you don't get electrocuted. It's that simple. Heck, maybe it's not important that no one mentions it. I uh, guess they figured that uh, no blooming DIYers like myself will want to mess with it, get electrocuted. Well, I'm here to tell you with the help of my friend. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. No, Will Robinson. Danger. Just how dangerous it is. So, just keep that in mind. This is where it's located, right here. Underneath the floor mat of your 2021 Toyota RAV4 Prime, right there. Now, I've seen various indications, that some of it was here. I've seen other videos. It's located right behind this filter. All right, it's a service plug. I even saw one video where the plug was behind this because the battery is underneath here. Of course, this is the passenger seat and it's underneath here behind there, but that's not where mine is located. So if you can't find it on any of those places, it's most likely behind here and you just take that off. No matter what plug-in hybrid you might have, whether it's the Toyota Prime or the Hyundai or Ford, it doesn't matter. There is going to be some type of service disconnect plug or service plug or a kill switch there for you to uh, disconnect it so that idiots like me don't get electrocuted. And as a safety note, if you're going to mess with any of the high voltage cable wiring, you want to take the safety precaution and disconnect, okay, that plug uh, so you don't get electrocuted. Now, with that in mind, I want to tell you, folks, me, myself, it's, think of it like switching or changing a light bulb. Yes, you could turn off the electricity at the wall uh, or at the circuit uh, breaker box. It's up to you. Myself, I know the precautions. I know what it entails. So all I do is unscrew the light bulb and put the new one in there. The bottom line, don't touch any of the insides. It's that simple. Don't go picking around in there. The same thing with the cable here, as long as you're not picking around or poking around in there in a voltage cable, you'll be okay. But again, disconnect it for safety purposes and you don't get electrocuted because you got 350 plus volts running through there. I usually just let my car settle down for an hour and then mess around with that voltage. You'll need, of course, a 12 millimeter socket here and a 10 millimeter socket you can see right here. You can use one like this, which is fine. And of course you need, well, you can use your fingers. You'll see what I mean. Or you can use a pry bar. Basically it's located in the, here in the passenger compartment. You just have to take this off. And, and while you're down here, make sure you do this at least once a year, if not often enough. Look, here, even me, you know, my dumb ass. Take a look at this. Really? About 10 months old right there, French fry. Can you believe that? But anyway, clean it up. Oh, she could go on the driver's side, passenger side, doesn't matter. Just put all both seats all the way forward. Once you got both seats forward, you could, like I said, you can pry it up with your fingers. It's held on by this clips. Or if you need to use this, that's fine. Either way, you're able to. Don't worry. You're not going to break it. Just like that. Here, pop off. All right. You're not going to break that plastic. Real simple. There's the clips, and this is underneath here is where you know, they get charged per hour. But anyway, it's already marked here, 12 milliliter volts. Get it right here, and just like that. Take that off. 
Take that off. All right, these two are easy. This one here, because of the center console, a little hard. That's why I got this offset 12 millimeter here. You could do that. Once you get it off, just pull up, just like this. And that's not the end of it. They really do this to make sure no one can get in there or have a hard time. Anyway, there's the first cover and then the second cover. You notice that's 12 millimeter. This is 10 millimeter. All right. First one. Make sure you hold on to it. You don't want it dropping in there. And the last one here. And that is it. Got 10 bolts. Before you get the plug, take those four off. Now this threw me off here. So just forewarned, this is nothing really. I thought it was a plug, but it's not. Uh, it's covered and it really serves no purpose. When you take it off, this might stick on there. All right. So make sure when you put it back, very important, make sure it's grooved in here so it forms a good tight water seal. All right. Don't forget that. So, there's the hybrid plug. As you can see, danger. Real easy here. All you have to do is just pull forward and then up. Like that. And there it is. It's disconnected. So you can service your vehicle or the mechanic can service it, work on it without any danger. Hopefully not getting electrocuted. But, uh, of course, if you get under it, I would recommend you let the car sit for at least an hour. Put it back in real easy. You can't mistake it. You can't go, you know, you can't do it backwards. All right, it only go in one way. Just like that. Okay, once it's in there, then push forward. And there you go. So don't, don't push it down, let the lever Pull it in and lock in place. Make sure it's locked in place. And you and then you put it back uh, real easy. Again, when you put it in here, make sure the rubber is in here. Because if you don't, and you're in a rush, okay, it's not gonna seal right. See this notch right here? That notch matches this little rubber piece right here. And just like that good tight water and dirt seal all right put it back real easy okay you can't really mistake it all right it's got these guides on there so that you don't end up stripping the bolts or whatever put it on there you don't have to torque it down okay i got it set on 14 which is enough i should put it on 12 all right again it doesn't have to be torqued down like that and there you go back in there putting the cover on you don't have to torque it down use here offset wrench final piece right here got the clips on all right, narrow side to the front, just like that. Just put it down just like that. I'll show you what I mean. It might show up, it might not. I've already started it, then turned it off. Let me see if it still shows up as a malfunction. Sure enough, it says there's hybrid system malfunction, shift to P. All right, braking power low, visit your dealer. All right. One of the irritating things about it, of course, when you disconnect that plug from the hybrid, all right, you'll get this and it will not go away. 
yes you can use this back button but after a while it'll just come back and it's kind of irritating even though it went away there it goes it comes back uh, I could try to reset it to see if it might clear it but I doubt it maybe it's one of those things where it does it so that you have to visit your dealer And just like that, put the cover back on, and you are done. In case you want to mess around with that hybrid plug, which I don't really like to do. And that is it. Happy campers. Thank you for watching. Take care, stay safe, and God bless. Hope that helps somebody out.